In this video, you can check the demonstration topology which is corresponding to the product position definition. After you get a new module in hand, first is to power on the module. Then, log in the web utility and enable the RF channel according to the antenna connected lo location. RF channel is abbreviation of radio frequency channel. After enable the RF channel, you can check the corresponding LED on the front panel. There are some sample code in Node-RED utility, so this video will demonstrate how to log in the Node-RED utility and import sample code. The RFID tag reading results will show on the Node-RED dashboard. This figure shows Adventic RFID solution architecture. From the sensing tech layer, we provide different kinds of application field tech, like factory tech, retail tech, hospital tech, and metal tech. And in the intelligent layer, we provide intelligent RFID gateway to read, filter, and transfer each kind of tech data and do not need any extra coding effort because we provide no raise function. Then, we link to WebSS SCADA that make you easy to monitor what filtered data you want. Also, we could deliver the data to the place that customer wants to pass like Baidu, Alirin, Azure, or Dropbox. Wherever you prefer because of the convenience of no raid. These images show the different views of YS2834 model, which has flexible mounting methods suitable for different environments. You can mount it on pole, wall, or a thin rail. This figure demonstrates vertical extrusion mount, or you can also work on horizontal extrusion mounts with the same support kit. After you get a WISE 2834 model in hand, you have to power on with one power supply, which is not part of accessory of this product. Connect the power core into DC port. After connect the power supply, you can see status LED is constantly on. Wait for few seconds until the LED is blinking which means that the image is boosted on. Connect your RFID antenna with one RFID cable. The other side of the cable connect with RFID channel. In this demonstration, I'm going to connect with channel number two and connect with one RJ45 cable into LAN port. The other side of the cable connects with your laptop. And that starts to configure the WISE module. To log in the web utility of WISE module, first you have to know the IP address of your WISE 2834. The WISE module supports both static and DHCP mode. The default setting is DHCP mode. But if you are not connecting with any DHCP server, the WISE module cannot get one assigned IP address. In this situation, the IP address of the WISE module will become 10.0.0.1. If that's so, just modify your IP address of your laptop into the same subnet. If you are not sure about the IP address of your WISE module, you can open AdenApex.net utility to search. The utility will automatically search the WISE module under the same subnet. As this result, the IP address of the WISE module is 10.0.0.1. Now, log into your WISE module with HTTPS IP address port number 1880 slash config slash
After logging into the WISE utility, you can go to Configuration, RFID, and enable the channel that you connect with the RFID antenna. As previous mentioned, I connect my RFID antenna and cable on the channel number 2. So I enable the channel number 2 and keep the default setting parameters on the WISE web utility and click on Submit. There are some example code in Node-RED configuration page. Now log in to your Node-RED page, HTTPS, IP address, and port 1880. After logging to the no red utility, Go to Import, Library, Default, Floats. These are the sample code of no red utility. Click on Deployed. If it shows successful deployed, which means we can start to reach to read RFID tag. Go to Dashboard. Here is the sample code of the RFID. Before we start to demonstrate the sample code of no read, please make sure the LED is light on. The status LED is blinking means the Nina's image is boots up and the correlated channel LED is light on. In this example, I connect RFID antenna and cable on channel number 2. So the LED on channel number 2 should light on. This one is the RFID antenna and this one is RFID tag. Put the tag within the reading range of the antenna and click on inventory. If the antenna can read the tag successfully, it will show the tag information here. Or you can click on read. It will also show the information on, on the panel. Go to the bottom. You can click on read buffer entry. It will show the tag information like the ID, SS type, data, timestamp, it is UTC format, RSSI level, and the number of the antenna. Go to the next, like this one. You, initially, this is empty. Click on inventory. This reading is only current status. If I remove the tag now, the info tag information is still showing here. Now we can click, click on add specific tag to the table. Select the ID of your tag, click on add. Then go to the table, click on show. We can see the tag ID has been added into the table. If you want to delete the specific tag from the table, just select the ID from the table and click on delete and click on show again. As you can see, the information of the tag is deleted. There is another sample code of constantly reading in this inventory continuously. You can click on inventory start. Then 
it will come show the status. Come back, remove, come back, remove. If the when the tag is removed away from from the reading range of the antenna, the tag information is disappeared from this table. Then you can click on inventory stop. Then it will stop reading the antenna the tag information. Thanks for your listening. Have a nice day.